Greetings, comrades. Hope this finds you well. Sorry for the lighting. The baby's sleeping. Can't can't disturb the baby. Quick shout out to INN, the Indian News Network, which I'm a part of. So I saw this op-ed on CNN's website. It came across my Twitter feed. It's by Lincoln Mitchell. It says Harris and Booty Judge, Pete Booty Judge Kamal Harris, could be allies instead of rivals. And it's basically saying, you know, if Biden doesn't decide to run in 2024, which he said he has, you know, Kamala Harris and Pete Booty Judge could could join together, and that would be a, you know really formidable, you know, vice president and you know presidential candidate. And it just just the reasons that this person gives, and this person Lincoln Mitchell teaches at the School of International Public Affairs at Columbia University. Just I think you know those credentials there maybe shows why his analysis here is so out of touch. And basically saying, you know, they both represent, you know, these diverse constituencies that are part of the Democratic base. Kamala Harris being a black woman, Pete Booty Judge being a gay man. So you can, you know, tap into the, you know, African American vote with Kamala Harris and then the LGBTQ vote via Pete Booty Judge, which, I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, uh, Kamala Harris dropped out during the 2020 campaign without even getting any delegates, right? And, you know, Pete Booty Judge only won Iowa because of that, all the malfunctions and the shady shit going on with the voting machines there. And just this analysis, like, well, you know, we have a black woman and then a gay man. So that's just means people vote for them automatically, even if their policy positions are shit. Like, you know, Pete Booty Judge's thing was, Medicare for all who want it, um, and, and that type of bu bullshit, and um, just a lot of fucking word salad, you know, responses, and just, you know, Pete Booty Judge is a fucking rat, I mean, we saw the meme of him eating, he looks like a goddamn rat, Kamala Harris, when she was Attorney General in California, um, this is from Prospect, how Kamala, the American Prospect, how Kamala Harris fought to keep nonviolent prisoners locked up, I'm sure that was very beneficial to the black community, the African American community in, in California, right? Or how she wanted to lock up parents for for their kids being truant and how she campaigned until she, you know, dropped out, at least uh, you know, very mildly supporting Medicare for all. Have you heard a peep about that since she became Biden's VP? since Biden got in office? Of course not. They're just two political hacks um, willing to say or do anything to, you know, get power, to get elected. Um, and I think if that's, if Biden doesn't run and the ticket is Kamala Harris and Pete Booty Judge, um, the Democrats are going to lose in, in a fucking landslide. I mean, Jesus Christ. Uh, Pete Booty Judge only elected not that it really matters, but I mean, he worked at fucking McKinsey, right? Like something about um, increasing like bread prices or something like that. Then he was the mayor of, was it Bloomington, Indiana? Um, so I, I mean, Jesus Christ, if that's the best the Democrats have to offer, they fucking deserve to lose. I mean, Jesus fucking Christ. Um, when Biden picked Kamala Harris as his running mate, he indicated that she was the future of the Democratic Party. God damn, dude. I mean, this is the type of fucking analysis you get from mainstream media. Again, this is some CNN, same type of shit you'd get from MSNBC, Fox. This, this is literally what it says. Harris Booty Judge could turn out to be a dream ticket for the Democrats while simultaneously avoiding a potentially damaging dynamic both within the administration and in possible Democratic primary. I mean, again, for God's sakes, Kamala Harris dropped out before any fucking votes were cast because her campaign was run so shitty and she couldn't raise any fucking money. Uh, Booty Judge only had like 20 fucking delegates. I mean, uh, fucking A. Um... And again, you actually win campaigns, um, you know, largely, yes, due to fundraising, but also by giving the voters a message and, you know, policy positions that people support. Um, is Booty Judge's Medicare for All who want it really going to, you know, fly? 
uh, especially in the current material conditions that we're still in a fucking pandemic and having universal health care would have saved hundreds of thousands of lives during this fucking time or Kamala Harris flip flopping on all the issues, depending on which way the wind is blowing and which policy position at the time happens to be politically, you know, expedient for her. Again, she campaigned during 2020 and before she dropped out on Medicare for all. Joe Biden doesn't support that. I haven't heard a word from her about Medicare for all or even, uh, you know, trying to push Biden for the public option, which Biden campaigned on and is completely backpedal on. Um, <laughs> so this says, although Harris did very poorly when she ran for president in 2020, we have seen the glimpses of what she can be, including the first presidential debate at the primary season, which she landed some very effective attacks on Biden. What? What? I mean, what? What? Those attacks obviously weren't enough for her to keep in the fucking race. Again, she dropped out before her goddamn home state of fucking California. Um, and again, this is saying, you know, this would help mobilize important parts of the Democratic base um, because Kamala Harris, um, you know, is African-American, an Asian-American woman, and Pete Booty judges again. That's, that's not how it fucking works. Just because I see a white guy out there does not mean I want to vote for him. Maybe if it's a white guy and he supports Medicare for all, canceling student loan debt, eco-socialist Green New Deal so we have an inhabitable planet to live on, dismantling the U.S. empire, um, etc., then maybe I'd do that piece much less.